All right, lovies. Gorgeousness makes me happy, makes me very, very happy. So I am, um, I forgot, I had these, I saved these from the collage pack, these numbers, and I wanted to put them, I love numbers, old numbers, numbers in general, numbers. Put that down there, and then I also did not darken the edges like I normally do, so I thought I would do that while I am talking. So the collage pack that you saw at the beginning, it, there are two collage packs that I worked from. They're previous collage packs, and I used the, the entire, pretty much the entire collage pack. And I'll have them listed, um, if, and I'll, I'll put them in the video too. Um, I'll just have it right below so you can see. And then it'll be in the comment section and on the blog. So I want to kind of pull this back just a little bit. Gorgeousness. Okay, so let's talk through this. Two collage packs I used, the wood, <clears throat> wood collage pack and then the, the background collage pack. I used two stencils. I used the bricks and bubble and the door stencil. Is that not fabulous? Um, I think this is door, um, what's behind door number one or door number two? I don't remember. I'll have it listed again in the comments, on the blog, in the video. I'll have it all done for you. So I did something a little different, which, so I was looking for the exact right texture. First I was like going to do modeling paste and I'm like, nah. I don't know, I didn't want it to be that thick, and then I was going to do, do gesso, and I thought that would be too thin, and I wanted a little texture sand in there to make it feel like concrete. So, I just mixed it all together, and what a fabulous combination this is. I just love it. It went on really well, it spread well, It just and it's got that just enough of a grit. Um, the gesso gave it a little bit more, you know, white that whiteness, the modeling paste gave it some thickness. The gesso kind of thinned down the modeling paste. So the whole combination was fabulous. You know, because sometimes when you use texture sand, it's so stiff that you can't really, you can't do a whole lot with it, or it's hard to work with. So when you combined those three, heaven is what happened for me. So it worked really well. It was just the right thickness, just the right texture. I la la loved it. So I used all deco art products today, which is awesome. I did all I did a bunch of um, fluid acrylics and glazing medium was Americana and then all of course these were all deco art. So um, I did a lot of different colors. I did work the background and then of course I did my tissue paper effect for the words. Love this beautiness and I worked really hard to try and you know kind of in my mind what I would want a grungy wall and um, one of Donna Downey's I've taken a couple, a couple classes from her one of her favorite sayings or one of my favorite sayings of hers is make your lights lighter and your darks darker and so you know I get in here and I get it really grungy but I always bring it back bring up some lights and some whites um, that contrast because in any situation nature or whatever there's always lights and darks definitely in the mix of whatever's going on so all right now this says this is a powerful powerful statement I came across this on a notebook pad you know like a daily you know note pad that had a quote at the bottom and I was like yes it says the great courageous act that we must all do is to have the courage to step out of our history and out and our past so that we can live our dreams. It's too often, and I talk to women all the time, I get questions about business, about life, about art, everything. Um, and too often there are a lot of excuses that we use that keeps us from doing what we want to do. Whatever it is, whether it's 
relationships or art or work or business or whatever. Um, and I, what I find most often as I talk to women is that there are old tapes that play and it is for me too. This happens for me all the time and I kind of have to talk myself through it and then remember this quote. And you know, this is some, this is a new quote to me, but this is something I've been practicing for a long, long time because I have a lot of history and a lot of past that wasn't great, childhood and all that. We all do. We all, nobody's got a perfect story. And too often, those old tapes of what somebody else has said to us, that you're not worthy, you're not smart enough, you're not strong enough, you're not whatever it is, it holds us back and it play. And when we get uncertain and we're in our uncomfortable zone or we're stepping out to take a risk and we're not sure what to do, those tapes come back. And we have to step out of our history, step out of our of our past. The past and our past history does not define where you are today. Write it down, put it on the mirror, put it in your planner, your journal, your phone, your computer, everywhere you can to remind you that that is the past. Today is a new beginning. Today is today. And as we're moving forward, we got to let go of those old tapes, let go of those old habits, let go of those old whatever the history in the past is. Old, old friends that don't encourage and don't speak um, truth in love. Whatever it is, we've got to let it go. We've got to walk through the door to today, walk through the door to the future, walk through the door to live our dreams and let go of the past. It's good. That is good message. Good for my soul. It feels good. All right, lovies. Um, I hope that if you're caught, that you remember today, you are worthy. You are so beautiful and so lovely and so worthy of your dreams. And don't let anybody, any history, any past, any voice, tell you anything different. I hope your Sunday is awesome, and I hope that you always, always know you are loved.